Hello Junction Group! Um, I have a new task for you today. Um, this will also be on the Beehive but a slightly different version. So um, if you want to try two versions, there you go. Um, so I would like to challenge you to create a character and then write dialogue for those for that character and another character. So um, we're going to start with creating the character. So grab something to write on, a piece of paper, laptop, phone, whatever you want. So, uh, I'm going to list off a bunch of questions and just while I'm doing them, just write down your answers as quickly as you can. If you need to pause the video, that's fine. Um, then come back and just press play and continue on. Um, but you shouldn't spend loads of time on these questions. Just go with your first instinct and then when you look it over at the end and if there's anything you're not happy with, just go back and change it. Cool. So, first question is... Um, the age. So you can either choose the age, or if you're not bothered about the age, or if you want to challenge yourself and write an age that you wouldn't necessarily normally choose to write, um, you can just pick a number, then multiply it by three. Don't worry, you can use your phone calculator on this if you want to, because I could not do this in my head. So choose a number, multiply it by three, then divide it by two, and then whatever number you have, you decide whether you want to add or subtract seven. And then that number that you get in the end is the age of your character. Or you can just pick an age. Up to you. So, once you've done that, the first question is, what is their name? And the next question. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time in between each question. So, the next question is, where do they live? You can be as specific as you want to, or not so much. You could just say England, or you could say the top floor bedroom in a two-story house on the fifth street from, the, from Drake Circus. I don't know. It's up to you. Okay, next question. Where is a place where they feel happy, where they feel safe or happy or both? So a place where they feel, where this place in itself makes them feel safe or happy or both. What job do they have and where do they do that job? Either normally or right now, that's up to you. Um, being a student, can it counts as a job so if they're like under 18 then you can write student um what do they secretly hate maybe they secretly hate cheese but their whole family loves cheese and so they eat cheese even though they don't like it i don't know that was a bad example up to you um do they live with anyone if so who is it and how long have they lived with them Pause if you need to, to answer the question. So next question is, what are they rich or poor in? So with that, I don't mean money. You can write money, but let's be a bit more creative than that. So if they're rich, if they're really good at chatting to people and getting to know people, they would be rich in social skills. If they are really bad at putting together IKEA furniture or painting a wall, they would be poor in DIY skills, just as an example. Um, cool, next question. What was the last thing that they ate? Be as specific as you want to, or don't be specific at all. It's up to you. What are they wearing on their feet? Now this question, you might have to change it depending on a decision that you make later, but just for now, whatever you like. Um, what do they always have in their pocket or their bag? Um, yeah, that's up to you. So if they were to stick their hands in their pockets when they're out on walking around town, what would they find? Cool. What was the last thing that they read? And then, what kind of music do they listen to when they're upset? And the last one is, what is a secret they have never told someone? So this one is important. So, take it seriously. Don't just write, oh, they murdered their hamster, or whatever. Um, Pick something that's a bit more fun if you want to do like a comedy one um, or a bit more serious if you like to write some more serious things. Um, but yeah, make it something like that's got something to it because that's what you're going to be writing about in a minute. So take a little bit of time to answer this question. So once you've answered it, you can pause if you need to now.
So, Junction Group, now that you've done your questions for your character, you are going to create a dialogue. So, the as you may see, the public challenge on the Beehive is to create a monologue, but since we've already done a bit of monologues, I thought we'd work on dialogues. So, your challenge is to create a dialogue. So, you need to decide who this person is talking to. The, the thing that they're going to be talking about is that person A, the character that you created just now, is going to tell their secret to that person. So you need to decide the situation, so where they are and why they have to tell this secret. And then you need to decide who they're telling it to. So that could be their best friend, a parent, a teacher, a stranger on the bus, whatever. That's up to you. So decide who they're talking to and where they are before you listen to the next instruction. Okay, good. I hope that, that you've decided now. So. Um, remember when you're writing this dialogue that the second character doesn't have to say anything or well they have to say something because it's a dialogue but they don't have to say very much so you don't need to know a massive amount about that character that's entirely up to you how much you want to create about the second character but you also need to remember that the first character might not want to reveal their secret but in the circumstances that they're in which you have created they have to so think about tactics that people use to avoid talking about things that are unpleasant so if you've ever been caught out in a lie um, that you told your parents or your friends or where you didn't go to something or whatever, what, you know, what do you use? Do you try and make them laugh, make it seem like less of a big deal? Do you um, sort of tell a little, another lie to make it seem like it wasn't as bad as it was? Think about different tactics that you use or maybe you just try and avoid it entirely and derail them. That's up to you um, to do. And then obviously the second character has to respond to those things Accordingly. So, here are some methods that you can use to help you write this. You can just free write it if you've got lots in your head and you're like, yes, I know what I want to do. Feel free to do that. That's fine. But if you would like some support, here is a way that you can start with. So, on the first line, you're going to pick a character that's going to start. And that character can only use one word. Then on the next line, it's going to be two words. And the next line, three. And then you continue that all the way up to seven words. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then once you hit seven, you go back down. So six, five, four, three, two, one. And that's how many words that you can use per line. So it's easy if you just write it on the left hand side of your page all the way down. It is entirely up to you which character uses those lines. It doesn't have to be a one, two, one, two, one, two system. Because um, that's not how people speak all the time. So I'll leave that to you to decide. Um, if it's easier to do a one-two, that's absolutely fine. Um, so just where they speak every other, that's totally fine. Um, another tool that you could use is to write the alphabet down the side. I think we might have done this before. So you write the alphabet down the side and the start of each... Um, so the first line has to start with a word that starts with the letter A. The next one has to start with the letter B and so on and so forth. Obviously this becomes harder when you get to like Z and things like that. And then once you've done that, you can obviously edit it, get rid of things that don't work, um, and to make changes. But just as like a starting point, that could be a way of doing it. So, um, that is your task. I hope uh, it goes well. Remember to go back and read through it and just see that it makes sense for the character to be saying the things that they're saying. Um, so think about the age and the job and all the things that you learned about the character. Does it make sense for them to speak the way that they do? So people of a certain age might not say things that people of, an, of a different age. So a 60-year-old is not going to speak in the same way that a 17-year-old does. So just think about those things. And if you feel like it doesn't actually work the way that they're speaking, then you go back and you edit it and, and you change it until it does. And that's fine. Um, if you want to send them back, I would love to see them. You can either film them uh, as a sort of a monologue or get... Maybe a sibling or a parent to be the other person if you want to, up to you. Um, um, or just send them in as written text, I'd love to see them if you want to. Good luck! <laughs>